Oh, dang it, guys. Dang it. Okay, Citrus, episode five. Yo, you. Can, I am so emotional with this, guys. I am legit emotional. Like, like... This episode was so, it was like an emotional roller coaster in this episode. Really emotional. It had some good, like, OMG moments in this, but there were some, and there were some that was so fucking sad. Sad, like, you want to shed a tear, and I shed a tear a little bit in this episode of Citrus, but man, what a way to go. I mean, episode five just showed us just how important love is. In this episode, no matter if you, no matter if you have a bad father or not, your your family, you know, and the, and the thing with this was family, you know, like fathers. That was the whole thing in this episode, fathers, because this was a sad, well, not really sad. It was like a tear, a little tear going in the eye, like, oh my god, sad. You see what I mean? That kind of thing. So let me kick things off with, uh, okay. I the love there's okay the beginning of citrus it turns out that we have a yuri harem going on I feel like I, it's like one of those harem things where the guy sits down and all the girls are oh, sharing trying to make sure he he's make sure the all the girls uh eat the guy you know make sure everybody eat eat his lunch you know how it is um but may you you know <laughs> momo and Yuzu, they love rival is straight up to them. They, they defining a Yuri love rival going on in this. And it really gets funnier. They, she, they're all running to the classroom, meaning May, And May just like, I don't want any lunch. Go eat yourselves. That is really great. And they all sat down at the table. That is some Yuri harem thing. Now, Hummery. Okay. Yuzu's friend? I, I don't, I may want to replace her right now. I mean, I'm team, I don't know, when it comes to favorite girls of Citrus right now, I mean, Yuzu's number one. I'm team Yuzu all the way. But if you guys have a supporting, if you guys support characters like Team Momo or Team Homery, I suggest you all stick with Team Homery on this. Yuzu's friend, she got tickets through the shirts. Like, how does she keep her, like, uh, she, okay, she put her phone in, the, in her boobs. She keep her tickets in the boobs. I feel like we should, I feel like she has a better chance of hiding everything in her boobs. Like we're talking from a, a gun, like a small little pistol gun. She probably have a phone charger, a book, anything to hide in that shirt. But she is good at, at hiding stuff between her boobs. Now this is tickets to the amusement park thing, but the, the indirect kiss. You know that okay. What Homery did with Yuzu at the manga cafe thing. Okay, that was spot on. And with this, them kiss, not kiss, but more like the indirect kiss, sharing their food to each other. That, well, I mean, would she share, would she share food with Yuzu and Momo, indirect kiss? That was glorious. Now, uh, okay. May's father. I know that we, I know that there are some anime dads out there who are complete assholes. There are some anime fathers who are complete assholes and some who's not taking things seriously as fathers. I can think of, we can all sit down and think of anime fathers that are really bad. I mean, I mean, there's Sasuke Uchiha, there's freaking Goku. Oh, the father from Food Wars, um, Edina's father. And who else? Oh, oh, the baddest father I can think of is... Near Tucker from Full Mountain Alchemist. God rest her soul. You know, the fuse with the, you know, he did when he fused the, the Nina, the daughter and the dog. It was kind of fucked up. So, yeah, that's the fine bad fathers. But still, Yuzu got the letter and it was, it may just run, open the door naked and everything. And she and Yuzu, and May's blushing. I mean, Yuzu's blushing. So I'm like, can you see any less? I mean, you were. I mean, the bathroom scene, you did see her all naked, and then you get blushed over that, and then you see her mad, and you took the letter. So, they're going on a date to see, because the day is the 15th. That's the day of um, Yuzu's father. And it's sad. It's, that This was an emotional scene, especially going to their grave, and she father, we found out her father died at the age of, age of three. I mean, yeah, her father died when she was three years old. That's kind of fucked up. That's really sad. So their date, so their date wasn't, so to begin with the date, they all catching a train. And whoa, the train scene. 
Oh my God, what a, that is a beautiful train scene they did. You, they all crowded train, hugging each other, trying to grip them. That, that's how it is in crowded trains, you know? We live in a world where it's so freaking crowded, it's hard to move. And you kind of bump into, you kind of close to someone that you card, that you breathe it on somebody. And, but May got turned on, just breathing, just hearing Yuzu breathing and all. That was so turned on. It turned May on so much, and I'm like, whoa! Okay, this is getting your ears. I'm loving it. And she's all she's all feeling it. Not to mention she licked in her ear. And I'm like, you're damn right. You lick, you lick Yuzu. Because let's not forget, I mean, you lick May. Let's not forget, May, May did lick Yuzu in the bathroom. So karma's the other way around with her licking. It was really great. But the way how May got angry when they got off the train, she had that super saiyan vibe going on. That dark Super Saiyan aura with her hair sticking. I'm like, oh god, no. Now, her connection with Momo, I don't blame May for arguing with Momo like that. I don't blame her. Because you're interfering with their business. Stop interfering with, with siblings. That's all I'm saying. Just stop. And when they were sharing the crappies together, you know, the crepes, whatever, the the scene where she wanted to indirect kiss, but May, I mean, May sexually grabbed the little cream off of her mouth and licked it. That was hot for you. I mean, literally, that was a good urine moment. Now, we're going to the graveside, and it was a sad... This, this scene was a little emotional. This scene was so sad that you, you guys had to, like almost shed a tear or your heart was like it hurts because she hasn't seen her father I mean, she, she i mean she only knew her father when she was three years old that's kind of fucked up you know what i mean it's, it's it's sad it's a little tear but yeah it's a little sad right there and i was like oh my god see it's hard to cry in anime and it's hard to feel sad in anime but scenes like this even if they show a scene where they talk about their parents when they died or whatnot, even when they go into the grave, it's kind of, it's very emotional. You see, it, it, that's how it is. I mean, the only time I cry in anime is with um, Plastic Memories, Clannad, and Angel Beats. That's it. That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's it. That's one and the same. Okay, now, May gets sick. The nurse scene, yo, you gotta give Yuzu a lot of credit. Being the big sister that she is, telling you, telling me to sit down in the hospital, I mean, stay in the hospital room, you ain't going anywhere, it's really very emotional. But I gotta be honest, the whole scene that I've seen was Yuzu's hairstyle. I mean, Yuzu's hairstyles change a lot from pigtails to long hair to single point pigtails on the side and then the anime mom here. I'm like, oh, damn. I mean, the last scene was... The last hairstyle they showed was the anime mom hair. And I'm like, yo, don't do this to me. If she, she got the anime mom hair, the Edward Elric hair. And I'm like, if you, you're going to make her die? You're just going to die? No, 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 no. We cannot let this happen. We're not going to let this happen, guys. Please don't let Yuzu die. Please don't let Yuzu die here. Come on, guys. Come on. You got the anime mom here. Don't fuck it up. Okay. But the last dramatic scene of Citrus was when May's father, well, Senpai, but you already know, you, you, you guys get the idea whose father that is when he says Senpai. But yeah, it was great to see how he looks. In the manga, it does kind of ring a bell, but in the anime, it did show how he really looks like. Like, purple eyes, and, you know, you see the purple eyes, you can tell who he, who the, you can tell that was May's father by obvious. And it was great to see him back in May's life after all these years. Now, remember I said about bad fathers? Okay. I'll be honest with you. May's father, I won't say, he's more like the, how do I put this? He's kind of like the Sasuke thing. You know how Sasuke don't ever see his family? He only sees his family like once a year type thing. That's how he only spent the night there or two and then he just goes home. I mean, he goes away. You know, that's how my father is. The way I see it is. But you, you guys get the idea. I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. But that's how it ended with May just shockingly seeing Senpai right in front of her face. Now, I'm not going to say anything about next week because next week is going to be in 
intense. Like, you have no idea just how intense this is going to be next week. Even when something is going to happen. And I'll tell you one thing. You're going to get a slap scene in the episode. You're gonna, you will hear a slap scene coming next week episode. That's all I'm giving you. But this episode was really... It, had, it was a, like I said, this episode was really great. It had an emotional roller coaster, up and downwards, from that, from the, from the OMG of Yuri moments to the sadness of their father, from Yuzu's father. It had this up and down crying moments in this episode. It makes you want to like, oh my god, that, that's just, just you, you, it's like you have no words to say for this episode. But damn, you really had to. But. That's it for now. But I gotta say, this episode is really good. And I feel like Citrus will get more and more better with the Yuri development of Yuzu and May relationship having spiraling up and down. But they'll manage to fix it somehow. We all know that. They will see. So, tune in next week for... For the... For... Ah, tune in next week for May's father debut of Citrus. So, keep your books in down because you might find out if he's a good father or not. <laughs>